Hey guys, welcome to the second lesson um, for the Cape Town Music Academy series of little videos. Um, today I want to talk about tone. Um, you know, there are millions of kinds of basses and millions of kinds of amps. And they all yield different things because of the design, pickup placement, orientation, preamp, um, onboard electronics, active passages, a thousand things. The same could be said for amps. Some amps are just a block that produce power onto a speaker. Some have assignable EQ and filters and things, which is great. Um, but even though there's some spectacular gear, and I'm very blessed to be able to be endorsed by a company like Sire and Mark Base Amps, uh, which I absolutely love and are the best gear I own, uh, the tone of your playing is you. It lies in your hands. It's your selection of what you choose to do. It's the, it's the how you play, sometimes the what you play in terms of the color or the tonality and notes you choose. But the bulk of the tone is coming from you. So, you know, there is a traditional style and a way of playing bass, which is, you know, two finger technique, alternating fingers, and you kind of pull through, pull up. And this guitar is pretty flat and this bass amp is pretty flat. So how do I change the tone of the guitar? Well, you know, your technique is one way to look at it. So if you look at just your left hand technique and you think, you know, it's your left hand, it's not the part that makes the sound. Sure, but it does change the way, you know, the, let's say the width of your guitar tone. So if you play with a, with a closed dish kind of grip, you're going to get a closed dish kind of sound, which is not a bad thing. It just depends on what you're playing. So like... If I want, you know, it's cool for playing groovy stuff and things where I want a little bit more of a chunky tone, but if I want to play jazz where, and it's quick, and because it's bass is quite boomy and muddy, you can't always get that clarity. So I tend to want to play with an open kind of technique. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, your right hand is the, is the major, major contributor to your tone and your style and your sound and all that. So um, two finger technique traditional. Whether you play in front, you get a rounder sound. At the back, you get a tighter, more percussive sound. Then obviously you can play with your thumb. I palm mute with my palm resting on the back of the string. So I get some great for playing reggae and groove music generally. Then you saw me incorporate two other fingers there, so thumb, index, middle. It's quite an interesting vibe. Then um, slapping and popping, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, sort of going through all of it. So a lot of the tone is not necessarily related to the guitar. Your tone is related to you.